this is Stumpy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stumpy's lovely world. Today in this video, I am going to be joined by Mr. Lee Bear. If you're feeling good today, Lee, then cross your eyes. Ooh, yeah, there we go, you're feeling good. <laughs> that is kind of cheating, though, because your eyes are always crossed. Yay, that means you're always doing good. Yay! That's like saying, if you're feeling good today, have a black button nose. Yay! Lee's feeling good today! Yay! Oh, I don't even have a nose. I never even noticed. Oh, is that why I can't smell? Is that why I can't smell anything? Oh, oh, oh well. You can just describe to me what things smell like. If you go and smell this cake over here, Lee, and then you need to give a reaction to what it smells like. Okay, that's a bad smelling moldy cake. <laughs> right, put down a fresh cake, then you need to act out uh, what the, the fresh cake looks like. Okay, what it smells like, sorry. Yay, that one smells good. That means I'm going to eat this one. Nom, 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 nom. There we go. Would you like a little bit of it, Lee? No, you're not, not feeling very hungry. Just want to poke it. Just want to poke it. Just want to poke the chase. Don't play with your food, Lee. <laughs> anyway, let's go outside and let's play the shoot the arrow at the moving minecart game. I feel like we've been playing this game for a long time. Right, but first I'm going to have a quick game of throw the egg at the moving minecart game. Imagine if I did actually hit it and it destroyed it. How amazing would that be? Right, let's try and throw it and... Ooh, I think I might have hit it. I just don't think my, my throw was strong enough. Anyway, Lee, uh, let's have uh, three shots each then. Uh, you can go first and then I'm going to go afterwards and uh, we can keep taking... Taking turns. Oh, Lee needs more arrows. Lee needs more arrows. <laughs> right, there we go. There's some arrows down here as well if you want, Lee. Uh, you should only need uh, three, but have a, a few spare in case you need them for the video. Right, take it away, Lee, when you're ready. Let's see if he's going to be able to hit the minecart. He's aiming it up and he's going to shoot. And no, not good. Right. Oh, 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 oh. You know what this means, Lee? You know what this means? If you don't destroy the minecart, but it does get stopped, that means you have to do a forfeit. And it also makes it much easier for me. Only joking, I'm not going to count it as this go. Right, that's the end of the game then, seeing as you stopped it. I'm going to have to think of a forfeit for you. Hmm. What about if at the beginning of every video you had to bake me a cake? And actually, no, you do that anyway, don't you? Um, right, what shall I make you do? Okay, you need to go and climb up to the very, 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 very top of the house. And you need to jump and try and land in the lake, okay? From the very top, right? Go, 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 go. Go now, Lee. I'm going to go to the love garden and I'm going to watch from over there. <laughs> I'm going to go and add someone to the love garden. And then don't jump yet. I'm going to look up and then you need to dive down. That is going to be what your forfeit is. <laughs> Lee is not very good with height. That's why it's a bit of a forfeit. Anyway, to the love garden, I'm adding... Oh, another row of signs. I am adding uh, Christy Wilkins. And that's because she sent me a load of pictures. And uh, there's a few of them coming up on your screen now. And I'm not adding her uh, because they're the best pictures in the world, even though I think they are amazing. I'm adding them because they are all really funny. I think every single one of them made me laugh. And if there's one thing I like doing, uh, that is laughing, as you can <laughs> uh, pretty regularly hear throughout my videos. So for making me laugh, Christy, I wanted to say thank you very, very much. And welcome to my love garden right then. Let's go and see if we can see Lee. Hello, Lee. Hello. How are you feeling up there? Are you doing good? Are you looking forward to this? No, I can actually see him shaking his head. Right. Good luck, Lee, um, is all I can say. Take it away when you're ready. Uh, big run up, big jump, and don't look down because... Oh, he did it! Yay! That was amazing! That was actually really awesome. Well done, Lee. <laughs> that turned from a forfeit into a really cool thing. And let's go and uh, give this minecart a nudge then, shall we? And have it ready bouncing for uh, tomorrow. <laughs> anyway... Today, we are going to... Oh, didn't mean to jump up here. Ow! <laughs> uh, today, we are going to be playing uh, a spot of golf. Uh, we're going to head over to the uh, the fun land where my golf course is. And we're going to be playing golf for pretty much the entire video. So, uh, hopefully you like golf. We do. <laughs> and uh, the reason for that is because uh, a while ago, I did a video where we just played mini games for the entire video. And you all seem to love it and ask for more videos where we just played games. And so, what we're going to do is we're going to play through the entire golf course, every single hole. And whoever wins... Uh, the game of golf is then going to pick a different mini game uh, for us to play. So yeah, no building, no working, no redstone, nothing confusing. Just playing games for the entire video. So <laughs> I think I I think I heard a collective cheer from everyone watching the, the video. And come on, Lee. Is he going to go like, let me see if I can hit Lee's minecart as he gets close. Oh, Lee's invisible. Lee's invisible. There we go. I hit the minecart, but I still can't see Lee. Was Lee in the minecart? 
Are, are, are you here, Lee? Has Lee turned invisible? Or had, did he just send a minecart? I can see. Oh, no, there's arrows shooting from nowhere. This is terrifying. Lee has turned invisible. <laughs> okay, what I'm going to do is I'm going to very quickly load up the game again. And then hopefully I'm going to be able to actually see where Lee is. Because otherwise I might get scared. I feel like there's a there's a ghost of Lee around here or something. <laughs> so, yeah, I'll be back in just one second. <laughs> Whoa! Hello, Lee! <laughs> Looks like you're back right in my face. <laughs> there we go. Now I can see you again. Now I can see your crossed blue eyes and your little button black nose as well. Right, here's the golf course. Literally right here. Let's go and play. And I built this absolutely ages ago. Actually, I built this golf course before any other games in my Funland. I built this golf course before my Funland was a Funland. Originally, I was just building a golf course and then I added everything else around. And if, by the way, uh, you were shouting at me saying, Stampy, you forgot to bring a dog. I did not because there's a dog waiting here already. Hello, Gregory Jr. Uh, Gregory jo uh, Jr. Uh, likes to live over here on the golf course as an obstacle. <laughs> right, looks like Lee wants to be green. And so I'm going to go and be white. And uh, it's a very simple the way this game works. Uh, you take turns throwing the ball down. And uh, wherever the ball lands, uh, you need to go and stand on it. And then you throw again. And you need to do it in as least throws as possible. So I am going to be keeping score. Uh, so if you want to go first, Lee, uh, I think the, uh, the par for this one is a uh, par two so uh, you should definitely be able to get under par and there we go uh, Lee did it in one throw so that's a, a good start from Lee uh, if he did miss on Noob Alley, that would have been very embarrassing. Uh, so hopefully I'm not going to miss either, because that would be equally as embarrassing. And straight in there, no problem. Don't worry, though. These are going to get a little bit harder. So we've had one throw each. Uh, this is a par three. This is called the dip. Uh, you can see that it goes and uh, dips down a little bit down here. And there's Lee's first throw. And he just about didn't get it to dip down, uh, but it should be okay. He should be uh, able to uh, easily enough go and throw the second one in. And he did it. There we go. So that's uh, another two throws for Lee. And I'm just going to keep uh, track of how many throws we have over all of it and then at the end see who did it in the least and oh I need to do this one yet why am I running ahead right let's go let's do it a different way than Lee did let's do it down to there uh, to the yellow one and from the yellow one let's see if I can go and get it straight in actually I think Lee's way might have been easier is this gonna go in if I throw it there I don't wanna throw it over it there we go straight in there <laughs> I got a, a nice swish there I didn't touch the side so that was a uh, another two throws from me and this is the the dog household and this is the the one that Gregory Jr. lives at you gotta make sure you get it completely out the other side there we go sometimes it can get stuck in the dog house and then there's pretty much nothing you can do from there and this one can be done in just two throws but he's gotta throw it over Gregory's head and oh he nearly threw it over there <laughs> but there we go he managed to get it in in a, another two throws and so it's my go now let's see if I can do the same big throw no 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 I hit it I hit it right okay this is okay I can throw it again from here but this is going to be worse than Lee there's no way I can do as well as he did I might be able to do it in three though but even that's going to be difficult right I nearly I really need a very big throw okay watch your head Gregory Jr big throw can I get it in there we go. That wasn't too bad, uh, but Lee is now in the lead because I took uh, three throws on that one and uh, Lee only took two. And this one uh, actually I think needs to be turned on. Yeah, there's a little there's a little hole down here. I think it is. There we go. And uh, there's some redstone. And I, if I break that and uh, then put it back down and uh, that should set it off. There we go. So there's going to be a little castle and uh, the gate of the castle is going to be constantly uh, opening and closing, making this one very, very difficult. Uh, certainly one of the hardest ones. It's all about time. Timing and oh, Lee did very well there. Very good timing. Oh, that was almost a hole in one, Lee. Almost a hole in one. Actually, if I get a hole on one, uh, that'd be a good chance to be drawing again. But there we go. Uh, he did it in two throws, which I think might be what the par is. I oh, know the par's free. Uh, you were there. You're still under par. Right, let's see if I can get uh, a hole in one. I don't want to be crossing the line. I need to be back a tiny bit. There we go. I'm like on the line and I need to try and time this perfectly. Okay, so I'm going to throw it as it's going up. Big throw. There we go. I managed to get it in. But is it going to go in the hole? And yes, it did. I got a hole in one. <laughs> so we are now once again uh, drawing, going on to the next hole, uh, which I believe is called the Never. And uh, you can probably guess why it's called the Never. There's Neverack and Obsidian and Glowstone and some Soul Sand down here. And uh, there's three openings and you can throw it into any three of them. And it uh, looks like, oh, I think Lee went for the, the middle one, but he got it stuck on some Soul Sand. This actually might be a chance for me to catch up. So uh, he can go and I think the, the far right one gets it closest, Lee. Uh, but I think any three of them uh, should be fine. It just comes out uh, in a different place. And he's gone for the far right one. Okay, I've not played this in a while. Uh, but I, leave, I do believe it does come out 
out on the far right one on this side as well. Yeah, so that's almost uh, gone straight in. So you should uh, be able to get this one. It's going to be very embarrassing if you miss. We're just going to just drop it down and there we go. No problem. So that was uh, another free froze from Lee. And uh, I'm going to go and do a different tactic. I'm going to go and try and uh, do it to the uh, do it to the far left one over there. And there's actually the possibility, if it falls through, uh, to do this one in just two throws. So I want to get a massive big throw and jump. Can I get it straight down? And no, it didn't fall down. <laughs> I went for a, a, a tricky tactic, but it didn't work. Look how close that is. It's like floating over the edge. That is unfair. Right, all I need to do is be very careful and just drop it in now. There we go. At least I didn't miss that one. And so if I get it in in the, uh, the next throw, I then... Uh, I, I would have um, uh, done the same as Lee, which isn't too bad, but I still am uh, one throw behind him. And here we go. The balls come down there. And uh, this is actually a, a pretty difficult throw. So I need to stand from this block, uh, which is where the, uh, the ball stopped. And big throw. Can I get it in? There we go. No problem. So that was uh, another another three throws for me. And uh, this one over here is called, I think this is called Littlewood. I think this one's called, yeah, this is Littlewood. And uh, this is quite a, a nice little cute, uh, cute one, I think. And so there's a nice mushroom there, lots of flowers underneath. And it's quite tricky though, actually. Uh, the trick is to try and bounce it off one of the trees and to try and make it slide in the middle. It is possible uh, to do this one in just two throws. And Lee managed to do it. Lee, have you been practicing? Have you been coming down? here in the middle of the night and practicing this you're doing very good <laughs> right let's see if i can do the same right i'm gonna do the same as lee but i'm gonna do it from the other side just because i want to be a little bit different <laughs> so i'm gonna throw it this way oh did i throw it too far then actually hmm that's quite a that's quite a difficult angle right i need to stand here i need to try and bounce it off that tree on the left hopefully the vines aren't going to get in the way is that good there we go you can hear the little ding as it drops in so i did that one uh, in two throws as well so lee uh, is still uh, one throw ahead of me he's done it in one less throw and uh, this one is called the mine and this is a tricky one actually uh, this has actually got two levels You've got to throw it to here and then drop it down the hole and then the uh, then the hole actually carries on uh, from under the ground. So that was uh, two throws to get it in, uh, which is, I think is pretty much the, the best you could have done it in. And then as I said, look, you come down here and it's like we're inside a, a mine shaft down here. And uh, the hole is right the way down the end here. So you've got to dodge the cobwebs and there's mushrooms and all sorts. And oh, it looks like Lee got it stuck on the pole there. Uh, so that's three throws he's done so far, but it got a little bit stuck. There's a little bit of a, a, a step there it got stuck on. He might be able to get it in anyway, though. And there, here we go. He did get it in anyway. Uh, so that was uh, four throws for Lee. And uh, I need to go and hop upstairs and uh, start from the very beginning. I don't think I can do any better than that. I think it might all come down uh, to that final hole, uh, as long as I don't muck up here and do anything embarrassing. And whoop! It looks like we've got a Lee inbound. Where's he going to land? <laughs> that was pretty nicely done there, Lee. <laughs> you might want to get out the way, though. There's going to be golf balls flying your way shortly. Right, just get a big throw. Get it as far down that way as I can. That was uh, pretty much perfect. And then one more throat. We'll drop it down there. Let's make sure I don't miss. There we go. Easy peasy. And now back down uh, through the mine entrance if I can actually get on the ladder. And uh, I need to just make sure I don't muck it up. I just need to play it smart. I'm going to aim a little bit more left than Lee did. See if I can get it closer uh, just to make the next shot even easier. Uh, I think I got it pretty much in the same place as Lee. Uh, so I need to just make sure I don't muck up now. That's quite a distance though. I want to make sure I get a big throw. And there we go. I managed to get it in uh, in four as well. Which means uh, Lee is still ahead of me. He's taken one less throw uh, throughout all of this. So um, if he doesn't muck up and does this next one perfect. Even if I do the same. Then there is no way I'm going to win. So uh, as much as I like you Lee. I really do want you to muck up here. Because I want to win. Because <laughs> as I said. Whoever wins this gets to pick the next game we're going to play. So uh, there is actually a quite a good prize. And oh, 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 Lee did that very carefully. I don't know if he did it too carefully. And uh, oh, you, you went a little bit far forward there, Lee. You went a little bit further forward than the ball did. <laughs> there we go. So he's now going to try and throw it over the water. No, no, he got it stuck in the water. And now he has to wait as the ball gets pushed the entire way back, uh, all the way to here. And that's where he's got to take the next shot from. And that happens almost every time. I'm sure I'm going to do the same as well. So it's Certainly not game over, but it is a chance for me to get a comeback and... Ooh. Ooh, ooh, just about, Lee. Just about. You just about got it on the edge there. <laughs> that was pretty close. And now he's done it to the cake. And now this one 
You need to throw it through my mouth. You need to feed Hungry Stampy. So <laughs> if you can, try and get it inside of my mouth. Oh, he he's throwing a cake there rather than a golf ball. <laughs> Is it right? You can carry on from where the cake fell. It doesn't matter. <laughs> you can pretend that was your go anyway. Oh, okay. No, he's just using it to have another go. Okay. Okay. Forget the cake then. You can carry on from, from where the, the slime ball landed if you want. And I go and try and throw it through the window. Is he going to be able to get it in? And there we go. He managed to throw it in. Once again, using a cake. He's switching between using cakes and golf balls. Uh, so how many throws was that? There was one to here, and then it went back. So that was two, and then three, four, five. So that's an extra one, two, three, four, five for Lee. And uh, so, oh, oh no, oh no, oh no. Okay, so this means that if I do it in four, then it's a draw. If I do it in three, then I win. If I do it in five, then Lee wins. Okay, so this all come down to this. I thought it might do. I want to get it as close to the end as I can without it falling off. Let's throw it about here. Oh, 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 don't fall in, don't fall in, don't fall in. <gasps> Perfect, it's right on the edge, it's right on the edge. Right, I need to go right to the very edge. And I might actually be able to throw it past the cake and be able to do this in three. This might actually be possible. Big throw, can I get it past the cake? Oh, I did, I did, I did, I did. If I get this in now, then that means I've won. Don't muck it up, please. And yes, I managed to win. <laughs> oh, dear, I would never have guessed it. Lee was winning the entire game, but right at the end, I was able to win and that means I get to pick which game we play next and you know what Lee seeing as you are such a good sport I'm gonna let you pick anyway I I, I don't mind actually tell you what no no I am gonna pick I am gonna pick because behind you over your shoulder I just saw a game do you know what I'm thinking of Lee do you want to play that game should we agree together right let's go play the dunking booth I love this game this game is awesome so what it is is there's a massive fish tank here uh, with a fish in and the fish is called Bobbin you can see him in there see his little face <laughs> and uh, Lee do you want to go up first uh, I'll go and shoot first basically I need to come down here and I'm gonna be shooting arrows uh, at that target and if I hit the target, uh, there's a flap up there, which is going to flap up and dunk Lee into the water. So it'll go down here and then that does a little flap. And then that is what's going to dunk Lee in. But it's very, very difficult to do while going back and forth on the minecart. And I'm not just saying that. I promise you, I'm not just saying that. It is very difficult. So there's Lee up in position. Hello, Lee. <laughs> For the second time in this video, you are going to go and get dunked into water. You had to do it as your forfeit earlier and you're going to have to do it now as well. Well, assuming I hit the target... Right, let's try and line it up and shoot now. And oh no, that was wide. Oh, we need to be careful not to burn everything down. Right, let's go and try and do it again. And there we go. I did it in just two throws. And Lee there gets dunked down. And oh no, there was a creeper behind me. <laughs> I thought Lee was shooting at me. He was trying to save my life. <laughs> oh dear, what a mess. Right. We can fix this. We can fix this. Come on. We can we can put our heads together and we can get this working again. Right. Let's just go and fill it in for now. Uh, it doesn't really matter what we build it out of. And uh, then you can go and have your game. <laughs> Did you do that on purpose, Lee? Because you didn't want to get, you didn't want to play the game. Were you worried you were going to lose? <laughs> right. So all I need to do is add uh, a block there. And uh, then uh, if I steal this power rail, no one's looking, are they? That I'm going to steal it. And then I can go put that down there. And uh, if I put that down there, there we go. Uh, all I need to do now is do, um, if I make a lever, actually, here we go. Look, I'm, I'm using my brain. I'm going to work this out. If I put a lever down, I can just leave the, the redstone lit, uh, I guess. Uh, all levers are over here. I need to, of course, make a stick first. I should know that by now. <laughs> and I can go, oh, there we go. Lee's put a redstone torch on anyway. I don't think that's actually uh, going to, to light it up, though. So I'm just going to put that down there. And there we go. That's lit up. There we go. <laughs> it's as if nothing was wrong. And oh, actually, I need to do a... Um, uh, to make a, another minecart as well. So let me go and make a minecart. There we go. Your chariot awaits, Lee. There it goes, bouncing back and forth again. And so now I'm going to go and hop upstairs. Oh, actually, I need to, to go and reset this as well, actually, don't I? Uh, let me go and put that on there. And uh, let's give him a different target. You need to try and hit the carrot. That's what your challenge is there, Lee. It doesn't matter what's in the item frame. <laughs> and I'm going to go up top. And so I did it in two shots, which is uh, very good. I must be honest, that's that's better than what we normally do. Uh, so if Lee gets it in one shot, he wins. If he does it in two shots, we draw. If he does it in anything over two shots, uh, then that means I am going to be the winner. So whenever you're ready, Lee, whenever you're ready, take your first shot and I'm going to be counting from up here. And oh, that was a miss. That was a miss. That means he can't win. If he gets the next one, we're going to draw. Oh no, he missed again, which means I've already won. But let's see how many shots he can do it in. Oh, that one was close. That one looked to be very close. The problem is uh, from up here, it's really hard to see where the arrows go. And so uh, there's always a, a little bit of tension. After he takes a shot, you never know when you're 
going to fall. So aha, it's actually uh, quite scary being up the top up here. And come on, Lee, I'm losing count here. Well, I've already lost count, to be honest. <laughs> I'm just here waiting to be dunked on the little flap. <laughs> oh, and he did it. He did it. I just got dunked. Hello, Bobbin. Hello. Stroke the little fish. <laughs> and then back down the hole in the bottom anyway. <laughs> so you didn't win, Lee, but you got to dunk me anyway. And that's always just a, a fun thing to do. <laughs> oh, dear. Anyway, that is the end of this video here. Hopefully uh, you had as much fun watching it uh, as we had making it and playing in it. Uh, so yeah, uh, in the next episode, I don't know what I'm going to be building yet. i got a few ideas that I'm going to go and try and work out. Uh, but if you want to find out, uh, then yeah, you're going to have to uh, come back soon. Uh, there'll be a link in the description and uh, watch that video. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching and I will see you all later. Bye!